If you have an email address, you must do this in order to gain control over your mailbox and your privacy. And no, I am not talking about some productivity hack. I am referring to the countless spam we get and the fact that our email is being sold as commodity to both marketers and scammers. There are two ways to regain control. There is the email mailboxes and email aliases. You can do one or the other or do both. I personally do both. So let's start with mailboxes. What you want to do is create a mailbox with a specific purpose in mind. Each mailbox has its own unique email address. The rule is that you never use that specific mailbox for anything other than its intended purposes. I suggest having three mailboxes. The first is a private or a personal mailbox. This is the email address that is only known to family and friends. You never use that email for anything. No one outside your immediate close circle of friends and family knows that this email address even exists. The second mailbox is a disposable mailbox. This is the mailbox that you use for everything that you don't really care about. Want to enter a competition or try a new service on the web? Use this email address. This is different to those 10 minute email temporary email address as you may want to be contacted on this email in the future. For example, let's say you entered a competition, that email has to be live so that you can be contacted if you want or you need to get those healthy discount codes on that new service that you tried but never signed up and paid for. So this is a disposable mailbox that you don't really care about but that email is still accessible if you want it. The third mailbox is a business mailbox. Your business email is only used for uh, business related purposes. This is the email that you print on business cards, you give it to clients and this is the email address that you share on social media and on your website. So how do you set up all these extra mailboxes? If you have your own domain, you can simply contact whoever is providing you with that hosting service and see what they offer. Sometimes they include a bunch of email addresses, email mailboxes that you're not even using. Other times it's just a small fee per mailbox per month. If you're using the free Gmail service as an example, you can just go and create new Gmail accounts for each one of those mailboxes. And once you have these mailboxes created, you can just add them to your email app that's on your phone or on your computer. This is really super simple, not painful to do. And instead of just checking one email, essentially you're going to be checking three different mailboxes. But it all happens automatically. Okay, but which email address do you use to sign up for mailing lists? Well, that brings us to the second way to gain control over your inbox and that is email alias. An email alias is essentially a fully functioning real email address but typically it doesn't have its own mailbox with its own inbox. The idea is that anything that's emailed to that email alias is automatically sent to the email mailbox that you own. And why would you want to do that? Well, I divide this into two main reasons. An email alias is great for organization and an email alias is great for security and privacy. Well, let's start with organization. You can create an email alias called mustread at yourdomain.com. You can email yourself links to documents that you want to read later. I have one called tools at mydomain.com. So whenever somebody tells me about a new security tool or a new AI tool, I simply send myself an email to that tool at mydomain.com and I know it's going to be there in my inbox waiting for me to review later on. I've also set up a rule in my email that anything that comes into that particular alias will automatically get moved to a folder. So my inbox is kept nice and clean. So organization is one reason to create an email alias. The second big reason to create an email alias is for privacy and security. We know that companies are constantly getting hacked and our email address is all over the dark web sold to scammers and hackers and data brokers who simply take our information and make it available to anybody who wants to buy it. Since you hardly ever change your main email address and you use it to log into most services, it's pretty unnerving that your information is out there so freely available. So firstly, I highly recommend the Delete Me service who are actually today's sponsors. 
They are the set and forget service that gets your personal information removed from the web from those websites that sell your information. I say it's set and forget because they act as your agent. They do all the time consuming job of finding your information and handled all the paperwork and all that processes to get it removed from those data broker sites. Now, of course you can do it yourself, but if you've ever tried to get one of them to delete your information, you know how painful it is. And the worst part is that once they actually finally remove your information, it magically reappears there again when they buy their next data set. So you're back to square one. With Delete Me, it just does this all for you and sends you a report of all the websites that they got your information removed from and those that are in the process of getting removed. It always amazes me to see just how many obscure data broker sites are out there and I would never find them on my own, but somehow Delete Me manages to find them for me. I have a link in the description below and a discount too, so Delete Me can scrub your information from the web. This is why an email alias is important, so you don't lose control over your privacy and security. If you have an Apple device, you can use the hide my email feature. But even then, I still recommend using something like Simple Login or Addy.io. These services have free accounts where you can create your aliases and have a lot of control. And the best bit is that an email alias address has nothing to do with your real address or your domain. Anyone that emails you at your email alias, it will be forwarded to your real email address without anybody's knowledge. This is perfect for when you have to register for an event or signing up for a mailing list. We know those companies are going to use our information to start marketing to us and basically spam our mailbox. If that happens, you simply delete the email alias and just like that, no more irritating emails. And if you want to know who is selling your information to marketers, you simply set up an email alias when you sign up for any services like Netflix. Now, technically, only Netflix should have that email address. And if you see another company sending you an email to your Netflix alias, you know that Netflix have been super naughty and they've been selling your information. Mailboxes and aliases are a surefire way to make sure that you regain control of your inbox and your privacy. And now that you've set up your email the right way, no, you're not out of the woods yet because you need to know about hidden email trackers that are used to track you. Check this video out here. Before you go, hit the head down here to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in this video, or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.